Greetings and salutations, folks. My name's Nick, and welcome back to Blood, where last time I had finished ep the episode three of Farewell to Arms. And now we're about to start Dead Reckoning. Uh, for full disclosure, I had actually played through the first three levels of Dead Reckoning, and then after doing so, realized I had not bothered to record any of the video, just my own voice, which would make for a very strange Let's Play. Only the commentary, no gameplay at all. Um, but don't worry, don't worry. I, I tried my best to make sure that everything is fresh to the mind. Um, I made sure to just, just guzzle all of the booze, give myself some sweet temporary amnesia, so it'll all be new to me. I'm just kidding, that would be terrible. Don't do that. Because otherwise, you would not know that you started off this area uh, without a weapon. Just a pitchfork. Uh, there is a shotgun, though. Um, there. So let us drop down, grab the gun. When I said grab the gun, I meant grab the gun. Let's try to line these guys up so that dynamite gets rid of both of them. There we go. And you can be pitchforked. Wow, he's still alive. He's still going. Alright. Um, let's grab that. That needs a skull key, so I guess we'll be coming back. Whatever this device is meant to do, we will never know. Bad guys, I think, down there. That's fine. We got a skull key. Oh yeah, and if I go out here, I will be attacked by gargoyles. And hounds. Oh my, I forgot about this uh, little lower area. Let's throw some dynamite at this guy, if he ever decides to rejoin me on the Earth. There we go. Now, unfortunately, that used the last of my dynamite, but that is A-OK. -okay. Oh. And the dogs are now dead. Um, a thank you to all of you who have decided to drop some life essence, as I definitely needed it. Um, what did I pick up? I have bullets, but I don't have a Tommy gun. I have a flare gun. And dynamite. There's the eye door. Brain storage. There's the room that I came from. Always very important. Brain storage. No zombies allowed. I'm not particularly happy about their discrimination against zombies. But then again, this is brain storage. They know what zombies will do when they're surrounded by all these delicious brains. Why does this brain get front row treatment? Is it the biggest brain of them all? Oh my, let's try that again. I think that did it. Yeah, much better than my first attempt at this, which I think involved unnecessary amounts of dynamite. How am I doing with sprays? Whoops.
What does, the, where does this door? I forgot where this door went. Oh, this just goes right back outside. To the gargoyle and hound area. This looks like it's dangerous. A Tesla cannon. Um, but it, I can just go right behind it. Are you going to explode? No, you're not. Is this an elevator? No, it is not. It looks like it should be. No, you won't. You'll blow up. Am I supposed to worry about you? No, I'm not. What about you, sir? And you! Um, shall we blow this up? We shall blow it up with dynamite. and cackle maniacally while doing so. That's just backtracking. So we really don't need to have, we didn't need to blow it up. But, especially since this is the end of the level. All right, now we're in the breeding grounds for the first time after the brain damage. Um, I forgot what this one was. Whether this actually had breeding grounds to worry about. Ah. Oh yeah, this had the, the like the aquarium esque feel to it, which was neat. See, and let's try it out. So I was worried that that glass would be shattered. But in actuality, it's just the other side of the level. <laughs> so there's nothing to worry about. Anything here? Locked. Locked. Why, hello! Oh yeah, and then there's this thing. You know, I never really used it that much because... It just floods the screen with... Wow. Wow. What on earth happened? Uh, let, let's try that again. Let's save our game, and now try that again. Ah, it le it's a life leech specifically for you, not for enemies. First, I, I had assumed that it would be leeching life from your enemies, not from you. If it has no ammo, then it pulls it from you. If it has ammo... Then that's fine. We got uh, dynamite, bullets, flares. Wait, no, I don't have jump boots. Hmm, can I actually reach? Yes, I can. All right. 
And that was probably the most unnecessary attempt to jump up there uh, that I probably ever did, because I could have just walked right around. It's slow, but it works. Oh, hello. One more. Let's see. There's the eye door down there. Let's see, how am I with the Tesla cannon? The Tesla cannon's maximum ammo is 250. And really, if I... I, I The Tesla cannon is so awesome, I might as well just try my best to prevent it from ever reaching its maximum ammo. Because any Tesla ammo that is not picked up is Tesla ammo that is wasted. Wow. Let's try that again. Ah, and there's a scuba suit up there. But now I have the eye door key. Um, which I believe the eye door was over there. But let's go downstairs, see what's over here first. It's just the eye door again, never mind. Uh, it's very convenient that those guys were just... Uh, looking away. A gasoline can for a napalm launcher that I do not have. Oh yeah, there was a uh, life seed, but I never figured out how to get it. I tried blowing it up, but it did not work. Some mysteries I will simply never solve. Whoops. No way! Alright, let's switch to the Tesla cannon. Maybe lure... Excellent. I was gonna say lure them down. Okay, hold on. Let's switch to that so we can get some range. Oh, hold on. And then this unlocks the door where the hound was. Or, or no, that goes all the way back to the beginning of the level. Excellent. Ah. One of you, but I have a Tesla cannon, which means that you are very easy to beat. Well, I probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. Let's let's try this again, except without blowing myself up, and possibly with saving slightly more often. All right, now I remember what happened last time. I accidentally grabbed the napalm launcher and immediately used it on the thing right in front of me.
All right, let's unlock that. And I think this is just a shortcut back through the level. Um, you know, I never bothered opening the lower eye door. That probably spins around the life essence, allowing me to pick that up. And the doctor's bag. All right, let's head back up. Nope, that's that was an accident. Um, where was that life seed? It was up here. Excellent. And then. Was there something else that would have opened up? I don't know. Let us carry on. Uh, not through in through there, because that is a dead end. Let's see, there were two paths. There was that one, and... And this one. Ah, hold on. Almost did not pick up this dynamite. Uh, let's go back up to the surface. There we go. You know, I probably should go up and pick up that... Scuba suit. And voodoo doll, which I usually I don't use the voodoo doll as much as I probably should. Was there anything else in here? There was another scuba suit. Oh, and the end of the level. All right, let's head out of here and then check the other side. Uh, see if there's any secrets to collect, items to pick up. One of the other. Ah. Super armor, excellent, and a diving suit. Ah, oh, that was an accident. Nope, 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 that was also an accident. <laughs> Alright, now we are done here. Let us finish off this level, play through the third level for the second time, and then... Next time we'll be encountering new new material. Oh crap! 74 out of 74 kills, 3 out of 3 secrets. That doesn't happen that often, not for me. Also, the moody atmospheric music has returned. Which I gotta say, I do enjoy this game's moody, atmospheric music. And I wonder if there's like a better version, like a more orchestrated version of this soundtrack online. Because the soundtrack is actually pretty solid. I'm just not a big fan of listening to MIDI in my spare time. Excellent. Locked. Locked.
All right, got some dynamite. All right, a lot of narrow corridors here. Whoops. Let's try that again without burning ourselves. I don't know what cause... ...caused that to happen before, but... Excellent. Excellent. That's that's how you destroy the evidence. No, I will not join you. Your subscriber fees are too intense. And I think I got lost going through here the first time, so hopefully I'll do a little bit better. But I can have I have no guarantees on that regard. Oh yeah, I'm just back here again. Oh, yeah, and this had the multiple pathways going around this kind of, like, underwater area. Ah, my scuba suit. With any luck, I blew something up up there. Did I get you? No, I did not. Now I did. And I think this leads to a dead end for now. But it does lead to items. I can't pick that up because I'm already full up. Never mind, I can. I've refilled my armor by two points. And then we've got some napalm launcher. Ah, son of a... I keep accidentally hitting the uh, right mouse button. That is something that I don't think I'm going to fix anytime soon. Uh, but for now, let us go back up to where we were before. Which was this path. There's also a path down here. And that goes nowhere, at least for now. Ah, almost forgot. Freddy Krueger stuff. Um... No. There we go. So I haven't been straight into the right. Oh. 
Who's shooting me? Is it? Are they shooting me from down here? Uh, let's see if they're down in the wall. Oh, nope, they're not. Ah, but a life seed. Hello. Excellent. Let's not jump, jump, uh, oops. Let's not jump down there and also let's not just walk into a wall and get stuck. All right. All right. Uh, which way from here? I think there was a path up top here. No secrets behind that waterfall. Fancy multi-path area that's more or less linear, but it gives you two interesting ways to go about the same objective. Um, this I've already been to, so that is not the way forward. I forget where this goes. Clearly, I have not been here. Or at the very least, not yet. Uh, let's blow this side of the wall up. Ah, uh, yeah, because I need that side of the wall to act as a platform to me for me to climb on. And then that opened up, which just makes for a back way into this area. A lot, a lot of the backtracking does enable the game to be a slightly more confusing. Because then you're, you're often left with the uh, where am I actually supposed to go sort of mentality. Um, I need to go that way. I think. Yes. Excellent. Ah, hello. Um, dog, I can't fight you down there. I mean, well, I can, but I'm not going to backtrack. Actually, hold on. There's some TNT over here. Can I... Hmm. I don't think this is going to work.
Nope, it's not gonna work. Let us press on. That hellhound will be able to live a full life. A full, meaningful life. That other hellhounds don't usually get to, to uh, enjoy. Not when they have to deal with uh, the likes of Caleb. Third level done again. Ah, both secrets found. Excellent. And now... Oh my gosh, this blatant, blatant Friday the 13th ripoff. We'll have to wait again till next time. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.